a 75 to 70 victory over Tennessee. A very entertaining game. As I said, back and forth affair. This was the number one offense against the number one defense in the country. Tommy Lloyd stays undefeated at home as the head coach of this Arizona program. Uh, We were talking off air when the interview was running. Tyler, you played at Arizona uh, back in your time at North Carolina. How difficult of a place is that to play? Yeah, I I grew up watching Arizona. I mean, they've had some some great teams. And so, I mean, it it always looks like a crazy atmosphere. I mean, yeah, it's got a lot of uh, tradition to it. And so it's not an easy place to play. And uh, especially with this team, I would consider this team a contender for sure. I really like their bigs inside as well, and uh, they're extremely athletic. And I think uh, Lloyd's really got this program headed in the right direction. So yeah, I'm, I mean it's exciting for Arizona. Yeah, to see, I mean, you think about his record. Uh, you know, it's his second year as a head coach, and I, I, I don't care, you know, how long you've been an assistant coach. When you move over that seat, it's a completely different deal. And he is forty three and five now as a head coach and he took over a historic program like Arizona with all the expectations and even everything that was going on in the program when he got there to see what he's done he's undefeated at home and his record's 43 and 5 what a tremendous job Lloyd's doing with this group he he revamped their recruiting in terms of taking some overseas guys and to have them playing at this level man I agree with Tyler It, it is extremely impressive Jeff, does it feel like not enough people are talking about that? Like, how come we haven't been throwing the name Tommy Lloyd out into best coach in the country conversations? Well, I think, again, I think part of it is last year he he inherits a bunch of really good dudes from Sean Miller. So, you know, it's who are you giving the credit to? You're going to give part to, to Tommy Lloyd. He did a hell of a job and changed the system completely, moving the ball, they're scoring, Sean had already kind of instilled the defensive mentality and toughness into those kids, but he inherited Ben Mathern, a lottery pick, uh, Coloco, maybe the best defender in the country last year. And Dalen Terry, who ends up going in the, in the first round. So all those guys leave and we figure there's going to be a drop off, right? There's gotta be this year. And and there really hasn't been a huge drop off. Uh, They've been terrific because again, you add a Courtney Ramey, who's been solid, but Umar Balo has been the difference maker in a way, because again, like Kirk Risa has two, he's been really good, but Balo and Tabellis are as good a one, two punch up front as anybody in the country. And Balo is a kid that I remember having conversations with Tommy Lloyd. And it was like, man, I feel like I got to bring him to, to Arizona. I can't leave him behind again. I, I recruited him and, you know, I don't know if he's going to really help us or he's even going to last in Tucson but I, I, I just feel I brought him here from overseas. I got to take care of the kid as a kid and give him every opportunity. And now Umar, Umar Balo, uh, he goes today for, for 18 and eight. By the way, zero bench points from Arizona today, zero. And they still end up beating a Tennessee team and scoring 75 on one of the best defensive teams in the country. Yeah, that's wild. Uh, one, if we're talking bench, I do want to flip to the Tennessee side of this. Zakai Ziegler, 21 points off the bench today, 8 for 11 from the floor. Uh, a guy who has been publicly criticized by his own coach, Rick Barnes, since the beginning of the season. Um, it is weird, right, Jeff? Like, what, what do we he make loves of him. Rick Barnes couldn't stop gushing about him all last year. He was the backup um, uh, to, uh, man, what's his name escaping me? Who was a little guard? Kenny Chandler. Yeah, Kenny Chandler. He was a backup. Nobody knew who Zakai Ziegler was. Comes in from New York, undersized, just like Kennedy Chandler, but like brought the toughness that Kennedy Chandler did, just wasn't as talented. Rick Barnes loves him. And then this year, he kind of killed him earlier. I, I think it was probably done to wake up Zakai Ziegler a little bit. Maybe he didn't have that same chip in his shoulder earlier this year and he wanted to make a point with him. But, you know, listen, it's tough to win in Tucson. I, I went to school mm. there. It's a tough – they won 71 straight games at home uh, when I was there, not not through the whole time I was there, but when I got there, uh, that streak was snapped. Don McLean from from UCLA had, I think it was 38. And Gonzaga is going to beat that streak. The next home game for Gonzaga will be its 72nd straight win at the McCarthy Athletic Center, uh, snapping that streak, which is the the longest in the modern – 
uh, era. But that's how tough it is to win in Tucson. And Tennessee's good. I, again, they're good. I, I don't have the same confidence in Tennessee that I think a lot of people do. I think they're good. I think they're a top 20-ish team at the end of the day. But that win against Kansas goes a long way.